These quizzes address a few common misconceptions about how templating tools process expressions. In the first quiz, we looked at a couple different timeleaf attributes. The correct answer, the th text attribute, replaces the text of its element with the value of the variable you provide, while the th field and th object attributes work differently. The th field attribute identifies form fields where user input will be mapped to variables, and the th object attribute allows us to specify an object whose attributes can then be referenced in the scope below. This can be useful for populating multiple fields of the same object in a form. Th string, unfortunately, is not actually a time leaf attribute. In the second quiz, we have four different samples referencing the same set of values. The first answer shows us how to loop over a collection of cats and output the value of each one as rows in a table. This is the correct format. Example two concatenates two attributes together to form a single string, but it has a problem. Notice the placement of the curly brackets. All the evaluation of expressions in Timeleaf happens inside these brackets. So if you try to insert a second variable, like in the example here, you'll run into problems. You can simply reference both variables inside the same set of brackets, performing the concatenation there as well. The third example demonstrates a structure programmers see all the time. If one scenario is true, do one thing. Otherwise, do another thing. In Timeleaf, though, there is no else if keyword, so we should use the th unless attribute. If you have multiple cases to consider, you can also use the th switch and case attributes. The last example is a simple form submission. It may look complicated, but don't be fooled. The th field reference with an asterisk is just a way to reference an attribute of the cat object we specified at the top of the form. This form will allow us to submit a cat object with the name we provided to our cat endpoint. 